Alright guys, this video is going to show you how to attach the SAW, which is the single arm boom stand. There's a number of different parts. First you have the focusing rack. That's where the head of the microscope is placed. And then you're going to go ahead and have the, the stand. Um, this is the, the pole that goes into the stand, right there. And this is going to be the arm that holds uh, the focusing rack. And uh, this would be placed into here. So let's go ahead and uh, get this thing assembled. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to get the large, uh, the large pole for the stand and go ahead and place it down here and just screw it in. Now screw it in until it becomes tight. And once you have it in place, you want to go ahead and tighten this knob. What this part does on the stand is the arm that holds the head of the microscope, it keeps it from falling down. So you want to make sure this is as tight as you want. Um, and later on, you could readjust it. The next thing you want to do is get the arm of the microscope. And the part that you want to place on top is going to be the part with uh, these uh, two knobs here and this one knob here. Make sure that you unscrew it a bit so that there's nothing blocking it. And go ahead and slide it right in. And as you can see earlier, because I tightened this, this part isn't falling down at all. So after you do place it, all you have to do is tighten this knob in the back, this knob right here, and once you do that, then this won't swivel around and move, move around. See, it's a little bit more tighter now. And after you attach that, I guess the next thing you want to go ahead and attach is the focusing rack. And the focusing rack is the part that focuses the head of the microscope, and this is where you would place the microscope head. Notice how there's only one thumb screw here, but there are three, three sections on it. So one, two, and three. Uh, none of the microscope focusing racks that we have come with three knobs at all. It's, al it's always one. Okay? A lot of people usually call in and say they're missing the other two um, knurled screws, but they're actually not. So in order to put this, you need one of the other parts here. This is the part that holds it up right here in this direction. So what you're going to have to do is you unscrew the bottom part. Just unscrew the bottom. So you see the ridges are gone now. So all you have to do is drop this in. Right there. And then go ahead, put the focusing rack on. Put it up. You might have to make sure this is unscrewed a bit before you put it up and then get the cap and screw it back in on the bottom. Make sure you put it tight so that it doesn't get loose or fall out. Okay, now that you can see it's in, this could swivel around. If you wanted it to stop doing that, there's another knob right behind here. I'll swivel this around so you can see. This knob right here stops the focusing rack from moving. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten it. And I'm also going to tighten this right here. And that will go ahead and stop the focusing rack from swiveling left and right. Now if it's too far out and you want to move it back in, all you have to do is unscrew these knobs here. And this will allow you to easily glide the, the arm of the microscope left and right. Okay. And as always, if you want to stop it from moving, just go ahead and tighten these parts here. One and two. Now, if you wanted to move the microscope up or down, all you have to do is unscrew this part and then maybe screw it into a place that you need it. So let's say that I want a place right here. So after I do that, I'm just going to go ahead and unscrew the other screw in the back here this knob right here and I'm gonna turn it down and that's how you would move the stand up and down just controlling the knobs do that and screw that up and down to lock it in place just go ahead and screw this in notice how with the stand I can rotate this a full 360 degrees all you have to do is unscrew this part knob in the back and you could move it around as much as you want. You 
Now if you wanted, you could also move the head. Just unscrew this part in the back. And you can move the head left and right. Uh, for those of you who did buy a package microscope with a single arm boom stand, uh, you're definitely going to go ahead and get the uh, one of the heads. This is a SM series microscope trinocular head. As you can see, it's trinocular because it has a third port, which is usually used for the camera. And it also has a shutter pin, which is located right here. So when you do buy the package, all you have to do to insert the head would be to simply unscrew this uh, knob right here. And you would just go ahead and drop the microscope head in and tighten it into place by tightening the screw once more. As simple as that. And that one screw is strong enough to hold the microscope head so it doesn't move around. So again, all you have to do is unscrew that screw and then place the head down. And there you go. This is your completed setup.